Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day one of our five day challenge to manifest some money in our lives, to start deleting some of the blocks that are holding us back. So I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes while people just join us. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to just drop them down um, in the box so that I can answer them as we go along. So what I thought I'd start by doing while we're just waiting for a few people to join is just talk a little bit about what we're going to cover in this five day challenge. Okay, so we're going to look at clearing out the crap and cleansing your space, but also re-energizing your space and your own aura as well as that is really, really important. We're going to look at your intentions around money and what you want to manifest, so your goals around money as well. We're going to crush some limiting beliefs as we move forwards. Um, so that's tomorrow. We're going to look at crushing your limiting beliefs. We're going to look at making money your friend as well, melting resistance, and speaking your intentions into existence as well, which is really fun to do as well. We'll also look at affirmations and positive language as that is really, really important in moving us forward. We have to have the right intentions and our mindset needs to be in the right place so that we can start attracting the money that we want um, to come forwards to us. Okay, so we're going to start by looking at clearing out your space. Okay, it's really, really important that we have a clean space around us, especially when we want to manifest things and we want to change our mindset. When we're surrounded by lots of clutter, you know, whether it's in our minds or whether it's in our personal space, it can have a negative impact on us. The Chinese proverb, um, a cluttered space equal a cluttered mind, is so, so true. So today we're going to have a look at clearing out all the crap around us. And by doing this, we're going to re-energize our space, re-energize our aura and our um, and our energetic bodies as well. Okay, so um, have a look at the things that you've got around you. Have a look at your space. Is it cluttered? Do you need to clear out um, your office, your car, um, your desk, your wardrobes? Are you hanging on to things that you haven't used for the last six or 12 months? If you have, then get rid of them. You know, give them to charity, sell them on eBay or Facebook. Start clearing some space because it's important that we start clearing space to make way for new things to come through to us. So you don't have to do this all in one go. Um, you can do, you know, a room at a time to start making that space. So. Um, I would certainly suggest clearing the space where you're going to do your money mindset practices, where you're going to do your manifestation challenge, so that you've got lots of clear energy and positive energy in that space. Okay, so I'd certainly say find yourself somewhere, sorry, let me turn this off, it's going mad, um, somewhere that you are going to, um, you know, do your rituals, do your visualization, your meditation, you know, whatever your are going to use within this challenge, within this challenge make sure that you've got a clear space in order to do that. Also, clear out your purse. You'll be surprised at just how much junk we hold on to in our purses and our handbags. So, you know, clear out any um, old bills. If you need to file them, then do so. If not, you know, all the papers and bits and pieces that are in there, get rid of them, throw them away. Okay, so that you can make space for new bills to come in and new money to come in as well. I'd also suggest putting a piece of citrine or a piece of green um, adventurine in your purse because, you know, that they attract money, especially the citrine. It is very linked to money. Personally, I use um, citrine in my purse, but I also use um, selenite when I'm doing manifesting. So this is a piece of, um, of natural selenite. I also have 
my beautiful selenite heart that I use when I'm manifesting different things okay so this is part of my practice when I'm journaling I will always have my selenite heart with me once you've cleared out all the, the, the crap and the negative energy, I would certainly suggest um, doing some smudging. Um, now, if you're not um, someone that has smudged, when we smudge, we light a piece of sage. Now, this is um, loose leafed sage. You just light it and the smoke clears the energy of the room. I would also suggest saging yourself as well so that the, the smoke is clearing the energy around you in your aura and in your energetic field as well. Okay, so what I use is one of these lovely shells to uh, to burn the sage in. Once I've burnt the sage, I will also light normally white candles um, in the room to start filling the room with positive energy. So the sage is clearing out the negative, so do have the windows open. And then close the windows and light some white candles. Now, white for me is just pure. If you want to, um, you know, light a, a blue candle for communication or a red candle for love and passion or a pink candle for unconditional love or green for money, that's entirely up to you. Okay, personally, I, I use white candles. Now, I do have um, a PDF guide to smudging that I will add to the group. Um, for you so that you can use that if, if it's something that you don't normally do then there's lots of information in that guide to help you to really clear out your space and fill it with positive energy as well and clear anything from your energetic field um, as well so that you're nice and clear to start manifesting things to come in for you now that's the preparation okay so do clear out everything um you know that, that you can think of and as you start to go through the process as you start to clear out old handbags and wardrobes and drawers this is quite often where we find some money okay so do pay attention to that do use gratitude to thank the universe for sending you that money um a year or so ago, I was packing to, to move house. We manifested um, our dream house. And um, I was clearing out my wardrobe, and I found a bag, one of my old handbags. And I said to my daughter, wouldn't it be great if I found a five-pound note in there? And there it was. So, you know, be intentional with what it is that you want as you move forward. And that's what we're going to talk, talk about in the day one. OK, so that's the preparation, cleaning out everything, bringing in beautiful new energy to help you. And day one is now what are your intentions around money? What is it that you really, really want? It's time to get specific and it's time to get clear. OK, it's not enough to just say, I want money. Okay, the universe needs to know why you want money. Money wants a purpose. And this is something that I go into great detail in in my course, um, Delete Your Blocks and Get Cash on Demand. Um, money does want a purpose. Okay, so today I want you to think about what it is that you really want. So, you know, do you want money to book a holiday? Do you want money to pay a specific bill? Why do you want to manifest this money and how much money do you want to manifest? OK, that's really, really important. It's also important that you set intentions around this money. OK, so set the intention that when you get the money, it is going to make you feel however it's going to make you feel. You know, what are your desired core feelings around that money? OK, so look at why you want it. You know, what is its purpose for you? Um, why um, you need the money? So, again, its purpose, sorry. Um, but also how it's going to make you feel, okay? What will that money allow you to do, have, and be? Okay, really, really important. 
okay so perhaps listing things like um, let's say you want a thousand pounds to book a holiday okay so how is that going to make you feel is it going to allow you to live life on your terms um, is it going to allow you to be relaxed and calm is it going to allow you to relieve some stress is it going to allow you to do the travel um, that you want to do okay um, so here are some of the things that I wrote down for why I really want money okay so for me it's to be able to live by my own rules to be able to live life on my terms to donate to different causes so different charities to be my own boss to be able to travel and experience different cultures um, to have the money to get more people to be able to reach more people with my message to never worry about bills to be free to live a stress-free life okay so I really want you to dig deep with why you want this money what are your why's what is this money really going to help you to do have be and most importantly to feel okay our feelings are absolutely key when we are trying to manifest money okay we need to have those desired core feelings and that's something else that we really go into in depth in my online course <coughs> sorry okay um, so writing down what it is that you want the money for your why's your feelings around this but also looking at why you've got to this point now why have you got to enough is enough okay why are you so determined to make those changes now okay and I also want to say commitment is really really important as well okay so commit to doing the work in this five-day challenge commit to showing up um, every day to watch the video and do the work that is included in that so make a commitment to yourself okay um, make the commitment to adopt a new mindset okay but also you know do watch your language as well when you're speaking to people because our language says a lot to the universe and we do need to be really really positive at all times so try and um, just monitor what your language is telling you um, about how you really feel deep down about money okay and also use affirmations that are going to help you to really you know believe that you can manifest the money that you want to manifest so something like money is an unlimited resource and is available to me at any time you know affirmations really do need to resonate with you so um, do have a look at writing your own affirmations you know there's plenty on uh, Google um, and the internet but you know try and adapt them to look at um, being in alignment with you um, we are going to cover affirmations quite deeply within this challenge so it's something that we're going to get to um, as we move further through the challenge but for today really focus on clearing your space um, bringing in that positive energy clearing your own aura as well okay and then getting clear on your whys and your feelings around money how this is going to help you in moving forwards if you have any questions do um, pop them in I'd love to answer them for you okay so um, well I'm just waiting to see if anyone has any questions about today's challenge I tell you a little bit about my online course which is delete your blocks and get cash on demand it goes really really deeply into your limiting beliefs and your blockages around money whether they're conscious or unconscious it's a 30-day online course so each day you receive a lesson um, with some tasks to do to really help you to understand why you have these blocks and how they're stopping you from moving forwards and then of course we go into the positive side of um, manifesting money and all the tools that you can use to manifest money to you um, there's games in there there's journaling prompts there's all sorts of different things that will really help you to 
bust through those blocks, delete them all, and get cash on demand. Um, I'll write a little bit about the course in the uh, group shortly, and I'll also add the um, smudging PDF as well, so that you can start to clear your energy. Um, you know, use it for the whole of your house. You'll be really, really surprised if it's something that you don't usually use just how it clears stale um, negative energy from your house and brings it like a new lease of life. So don't forget to save your purse. If you'd like any more information on the crystals that I suggested putting in your purse, then please don't hesitate to contact me um, as well. So as I don't have any questions, um, please feel free to, um, at any time, just write a comment under this post. I'm always here to help you, to support you, and to guide you. If you would like to, please um, write your intention for this challenge um, in the group as well. So how much money would you like to manifest and why? We're all there to support you and help you and keep the energy really, really high vibe so that we can all benefit. The more that we um, you know, help each other, support each other, the higher the energy. And that's when we start to see some really positive changes in the world. Okay, so that's it for today. I'll be back at the same time tomorrow with day two, which is crushing your limiting beliefs. And like I say, if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm always here to help you. Have a fantastic day. Let me know how you get on with the space clearing and what your intentions are for this challenge. Bye for now.